Well, hello there. How are you guys doing? Yeah, um, I just feel like talking. Been on here. Been resting and going through other stuff in life. Um, hope you all are, are blessed. You know, doing well. You know, I've, I've been in bed all day. Like, I just feel worn out today, you know. But... That's another topic, but, um, yeah, I think I just want to, you know, let's get on here and just say, like, some just random, uh, little stuff, like, first and foremost, like, and this energy shit is so real, like, y'all better take heed to it, like, you know, it's so weird, and, um, like, Make sure y'all continuously cleanse yourselves as much as possible. Um, I would say if, first off, when it comes to your home, it's a reason why some people are the way they are. And I'm one of them. You can't let everybody come into your home. You cannot do that, okay? You can't do that. Why? Because, well, first and foremost, everybody ain't got your best interest at heart. So people could just be coming in, you know, portraying one way when it ain't even that. So you understand what I'm saying? Then two, you know, it could be a good person, somebody who you really fuck with or whatever. And they have, they don't been somewhere. And they don't had, and wherever they came from, you know, they picked up some sort of bad energy a spirit, anything like that, and they coming over just to see you, like, you ain't thinking that nothing, ha, 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 and get what, that bad spirit is lifted out them into your home, then you wonder why, goddamn, you all fucked up, and then, like, start arguing or some shit, start happening in your house, something like that, that's what it's for, that's why I don't, I don't bother, I don't even let people in my room, you know what I'm saying, how I used to, like, I ain't never been a person to just have a crowd of people in my house every day, all day, um, but yeah, it's at a very much of a minimum, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't let people just, you know, no, I don't, I don't like that now, and that, this is why too now. You can't let everybody into your home, you gotta protect your home, you gotta protect you, okay? You can't, you can't do that, or whatever. And I'm telling that, 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 that. Saying, uh, um, a wolf in sheep's clothing or something like that. Oh, yes. Y'all know the devil dresses up very well. He do. <laughs> they do. And I know at this precious moment of time, the devil is so much a working. And sometimes I do get, like, really frustrated sometimes because I don't get why certain things just keep finding me or why it just won't stop but I do get it because I'm the person that I am you know I am very much of light I am so like I I am not from earth okay I'm so different so it's like my beauty attracts the right people and it tracks so many of the wrong people because you know what I'm saying them narcissists and all that and them them people like I attract people like that and then because of my lights I get that now but I don't want I don't like dealing with the narcissists I don't like dealing with people that just offer themselves because I don't I don't understand what I don't do I just don't okay uh it's a lot going on in the spiritual world. It's a lot going on. Okay? And it's just like the devil just keep trying to knock me down off my throne. But you can't knock me down off my throne. The devil tried to take me down yesterday. And he was getting the best of me, too. Uh-uh. No. Never again. That's why he just, that's why the devil just working so hard on me because he know he can't get to me. He can't do anything to me. Like, you know, he, it's hard for him 
to to win when it comes to me, you know. So he don't like that. You know. I'm no fool. You know, and the devil just don't like the fact that I'm so smart. <laughs> he don't like that, you know. I don't want to deal with it. I, don't, I just don't have time, okay? Like, I don't even have time to be acting a fool. Like, I don't like that. Who likes to sit around and act a donkey? Not me. I like to be at peace. I like to smile, baby. You know? Smile. Smile, Come on. Hey. <laughs> no, no, but I think I'm, you know, tired like this for a reason. You know, a good reason, but it's okay. You know, anyway, going to the next, because, you know, you can't talk a lot. You know, you can't, you know, the devil listens a lot. Him and his men listen. And we be thinking, you know, good for listening, you know what I'm saying? The devil be listening in, too. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be silent about a lot of stuff, especially me. Because, you know, they praying on my damn for Yeah, you know, they praying on my damn for Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of stuff may be scary. A lot of stuff may be scary. I mean, physically, emotionally, mentally. And you hear something that you don't want to hear that you didn't even notice. That anything like that, it's going to be scary. You endure something you never had, it's going to be scary. They done something you just refused to do or said you weren't going to do and you do it like it's scary stuff. It's scary, okay? You know, I have someone that I really deeply care about. And just deep down in my heart, I'm in such better, but I know deep down in my heart, like, it's mine, okay? And, like, <laughs> now I really see my worth. And who I am and what I am capable of really, really doing. Or whatever. Just being in a mix of it all. Like, it just, I be realizing myself in a mix. Like, so crazy. You know. Like, you know, like how you, you're a counselor. You're, you're, you're whatever you is. And you got to help somebody pull through or get through something or to realize something or. Open their eyes to stuff so they can, you know, analyze it and then make changes. Make, you know, make changes not for me but for themselves. For for themselves. And then you are most important to you. And you got to always believe that, know that, feel that, be that. And, like, you know, my, my person is a piece of work. And I know I'm a piece of work too. <laughs> but he's a piece of work. God damn. My love him is this. I can see clearly. You know that's how I'm able to be strong. In this journey. And I know I'm going to have like the precious. The most precious outcome. Like, it's going to be great. And I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing this because this is my job here on earth to do this stuff. But. And I got to like. You know, like yesterday, I was, I was very selfish, you know, I was putting myself first. When, like, I got to take that out of the equation, you know, my person, my forever person, whatever, like, especially when it comes to certain shit or insecurities again over stuff or, you know, enlighten him about certain things or anybody, you got to take yourself out of the equation. Take yourself completely out, your emotions, all that you got to. Okay, you got to. You got to take yourself out. Take you out because they ain't about you. You're trying to help somebody. You're trying to help somebody see some shit that they weren't seeing before. All right, whatever the issue may be. So, you got to put yourself out. And I fucked up yesterday doing that. Not removing myself and my feelings, you know. I just, you know, a lot of times you do got to give folks space. And I should know this. When somebody don't want to talk, they don't want to talk. You can't rush to make nobody talk. You can't do that. It's not good. So, I don't know. I make my videos. I do this and that. But 
I'm I'm still learning too. We all learn. You never stop learning. I don't care. You a whole teacher in your class. And you don't stop learning. Okay, this I had to realize too yesterday. Now I know I'm the teacher now. I'm definitely the motherfucking teacher. But with me and my person it's definitely, uh, well, in every aspect of your life, I don't care if you meet a stranger on the street and start talking to them. You're learning something from them. It's something that's coming out of their mouth that you probably need to hear. You learn from something. So each and every moment of your life, every aspect of your life, you are definitely, it's always a teacher-student moment, okay? I always know that it's always a teacher-student moment. And I always teaching. You're always learning. So, like, yeah, but I'm definitely the teacher now. I'm definitely the teacher now. But I'm always a student. A student always teaches a, a teacher something. Okay? A teacher be writing on the board and they made a mistake. Get yeah, what? They gonna be like, what? Teacher made a mistake. That's wrong. And some teachers become arrogant. Like, they ain't wrong. You're a kid. You know what you're talking about. Get what? That student be right. And because you're the teacher. And you way ahead don't mean that you can't learn from some from a little person or someone that's trying to learn to get there. However the issue may be. My bad, y'all, you know my kids, you know what I'm saying? All in my fan, like what do y'all want? <laughs> but um, yeah. You know, and never stop learning, okay? I actually enjoy the fact that I learn what I learned from my partner. You know, I I like it. I don't, I don't I don't dislike it. I like it. You know, they do be okay. He be okay. You know what I'm saying about stuff. And I love the fact that I can just read mine like it's no. Other. I sure can my bad. Just like it. Oh my god. But yeah. And one thing that is so true, um, when it comes. To any type of relationship or friendship, you have to, um, first of all, you just gotta have patience. You just have to have patience. I ain't never been an impatient person, but I've had impatient times. I, it's like, it, it depends. I'm gonna say it depends. Sometimes I'm patient, sometimes I'm impatient. You know? Like, if you want something so beautiful, you want something damn near perfect, and you want it to work out, you want this, you want that, guess what? It takes time. It does. And that's something you cannot rush. You can't rush a goddamn cake out of the oven, can you? You can't have a good-ass cake how we done, can you? Then you keep rushing, it's going to fall before you even get done. Right? <laughs> they can't rush it. You can't rush it, especially when you, you feel and know it's going to be such a beautiful thing. Don't rush it. Just be patient. And you ain't got no control over nobody. Nobody got no control over you. So, just be patient. You know, I don't know. You guys, I'm just I'm just talking. Like, I don't <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my... my energy up, you know, because I'm just tired. I'm tired still right now. I want to go to sleep, you know, but I'm trying to wait for my kids, you know, to finish up this refrigerator. A refrigerator! <laughs> but I'm trying to wait for them to finish the refrigerator so I can cook me some fish and take my ass back to sleep. I ain't even trying to room around the day. I ain't did nothing. I just went, took me a walk, went to grocery store, get away. I helped somebody today. Yes! I met an older lady in the store. She needed, we needed, to, you know, said she needed to swap some shit. So goddamn, she helped me. I spent less money and got everything that I needed. She took me home because I don't have a car. I walk, you know, I walk damn near a mile. I walk about a mile, you know what I'm saying, to go to the grocery store. And I was walking back with my bags, you know. I just be like that. I got to do what I got to do. You know, just because I ain't got no car. No, I, mean, I mean, don't shit stop. Cars are materialistic, too. I need me a car. I'm going to get me a car. I want me a car. Amen. Praise the Lord. He about to send it to me. 
But I'm not rushing it. I'm not rushing it. <laughs> I could have been had a car, all that now. I just chose not to. I want to get everything right in order for me to drive comfortably. You know, so it's never a rush, you know. I ain't, I mean, shit, I get on Martin whenever I need to. They get me down. Shit, I Uber whenever. And I walk whenever. You know, I get there, however. And I definitely don't depend on no one but God to get me there. You know, I don't call nobody. Oh, I need a ride. Oh, I can't get on the bus. I need a ride. That'll shit me. What? Put your ass on the goddamn bus. <laughs> so, like I say, you know. Y'all, this... This is the engine I like being in. I love this. I don't like being angry. I don't like being aggressive. Everybody has a light and dark side to themselves. We all have a light and dark side. Yin and yang. Uh, masculine and feminine. You know. We all have that side. So we should not pass judgment on anyone if they just seem so holy, like, you know, like myself, then I, you know what I'm saying, I flip out one day, you know what I'm saying, my emotional got the best of me, like, it's normal, it's normal, and I beat myself up about it, but I don't like acting a certain type of way, I don't like that, so I try to keep me in check at all times. And I know the beautiful, bright person I'm really about to blow up to be, I have to keep my emotions in check. So y'all make sure y'all keep your emotions in check. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so freaking hard. But we can do it. We can do it. We can do anything we put our mind to. Don't accept less. Friend, family, partner, kids, yourself. Don't accept less, okay? Don't accept less. You deserve the best. I just did a rhyme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, don't accept less, okay? Don't accept less. If you know that you got a friend or friends or that's some sort of environment that ain't rocking with you no more how you used to, Get the fuck on. No, stay there, okay? That mean it's meant to stay. You can love and uh, rejoice and always appreciate where you came from, where you grew up at, but that mean that's where you're supposed to stay at. That don't mean shit, okay? No. And y'all know something like, I just... <laughs> I, I don't hate it, but it's just like, oh my God, it's, it's, it, it brings frustration that I'm so overprotective over things and people that I love. I'm so overprotective. Very, very. I'm very overprotective, okay? My bad. And now, the new and profound person that I know I am now, you know, like, especially when it comes to my, to my, you know. He got a name, but I'm not gonna say a name. I'm not gonna say no name. Might be over here mad, and I don't even know what the fuck he got going on. Might be over here pissed off because it's like a, I know, but I don't physically know. But I know exactly what's going on, and I don't like it. I don't like the fact that I know deep down, folk fucking over him. For playing with his emotions. Folks, you know, like, mm -mm. then it's always the people closest to you. That's what I'm saying, though, like, the person that I am and what I'm here to do on this earth, like, it's definitely to help awake people from shit that they was blind to. I'm here to help fix people of shit that they have been going through since a child. What they emotionally and mentally going through. You know what I'm saying? Physically too. All that. Spiritually. I can help that too now. You know. And I like that. 
I don't like that. When mine is being betrayed and all this, especially by somebody or people who he feels so deeply about, no. And I know it. Why I know it? Because I am so intuitive. We all are, but I am that bitch. It's just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just what I do, okay? <laughs> This I know this guy who I'm talking about is my husband. He's my husband. And all the shit that be going on, I be in my head about it. Like, damn. Is he really? Or is this not? Whatever. I know he talk about him. But y'all get to know now. Y'all get to know Whatever, whatever. But yeah. No. I don't like that. I want to go fight no people. I don't fight no. I don't fight no more. Well, I can't say that because yesterday, god damn it. I try to get down, throw them balls on my baby for no reason. Well, I was, yeah, for no reason. Uh, that way I came out for no reason, right? In my emotions. <laughs> on the other end, like them high school days, street days and all that, I was fine, like, I will fight. But I want to fight them people. Male or female, fuck with my baby. I don't fuck my baby. And I really feel like, like, this, look, I think this is another clip. This is another situation. Right <laughs> All right, and then the Lord, I think it's keep stopping me because, like, yeah, maybe I need to change subject. Yeah, no, they tell me change subject because you know what I'm saying. When I think about it, I'm about to blow up so big. That's not even going to be funny. <laughs> Seriously. God been telling me this all year, how big I'm about to be. God been telling me all year the money I'm about to have. God been telling me all year the, the, the life I'm about to have. I'm about to be in person. Actually, when you say all year, actually, i kind of been knowing this for years. But certain parts, God has been telling and showing me this year. It's going to be so amazing. And you know what? I appreciate the last uh, century. I went through all hell. For the last century, I went through hell. You know? It wasn't doing that prepare me. For me. I'm so thankful for my obstacles, my trials and tribulations. Because it made me into the person I am today. Okay. It did. It is. And I prayed for the last few years. I prayed to be a better person. I prayed for this. God been answering my prayers. He been doing this. Most people don't pray to be a better person. Most folks don't pray for certain. Like you know what I'm saying. I do because that's what I want. I have been praying to be a better person. To be the person that I've always meant to be. I always had a heart and let my heart be shown. Because just like when it was showing in, 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 in this last century or whatnot, it was just shit. Just, uh, it was tough, y'all. Tough. That's how I know I deserve what's coming to me. I deserve all the good karma I'm about to reap. Because I've been through it. And a lot of stuff I didn't even deserve to go through or to even... Be treated the way I was treated. However, whatever. I don't dwell on that shit no more. I try not to, but... Yeah. God is about to bless me. I know he's about to bless me. Because he been telling me for months. I've I, I been, I been preparing this... for my. I've been actually been preparing for this moment my whole life. If I look at it my whole life, I've been preparing for this moment. I think. Mm hmm it's always been in me. And I'm so proud of the person I am today. I'm so strong. And, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm undefeated. Sorry, I'm just undefeated, baby. That's it. <laughs> Y'all gonna see a lot more videos like this with me just in the bed like this, because, baby, I already know what's coming. 
Not a whole lot, but y'all gonna see me more in a bit. Or just kick back, um, uh, relax and probably eat up some shit. You know, emotion and all that. Cause, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, there ain't none of y'all beating. Anyway, y'all see. Anyway, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta protect me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta protect me. And right now. Cause I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, gotta be on the, you know, kind of low ski, low low. But everybody about to see me soon. Everybody, millions of people about to know me. Millions of people about to know my name. Millions of people about to know my face. Millions of people is about to. Adore me and appreciate me. You know, and you know why the Lord is giving this to me like this, and how everything the tables are about to turn for me in my life. It's because everything that I felt that I lost or didn't have or wanted in this century of bullcrap, I am now about to get times a hundred. You understand me? All the love I I, I felt I didn't have from family or from people or it wasn't reciprocated or just, you know, I've been living in poverty for a whole century too. I've been homeless. I've been facing homelessness before I even turned the age of 18 years old, baby. So I've been in poverty for so long. And God is saying now, no more. No more. Now it's straight greatness in your life. I know why I'm worthy of this. I know I I deserve it. I do. And I'm a person that's going to appreciate every single penny. Appreciate all my gifts, appreciate everything that I have. I appreciate everything I have right now. But when God give you such a lifestyle, such a big lifestyle, such a big turnaround, when he give you that authentic fame, that real fame, that real fortune, I did my word. And it was because of the heart. And I believe him. I pray to have a closer connection with God. I pray for that too. I thought it was the way you're supposed to pray. I thought it was a certain way. I thought God was just going to like, like, I'm just not going to have eternal life because I smoke weed or this and that happen. No. I was beating myself up too much. You know. But I just said, I just like incorporated so many different stories that I could talk about on one segment. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I enjoy this. I didn't know I had, I had such a powerful voice. My voice is way powerful than what it seems right now. I'm still learning so much about myself, like my qualities. Like, that's how I know I'm that bitch. And there's so many beautiful people in this world. There's so many beautiful women out there that are very similar to me. But, no. I, me, me, I am definitely one of a kind. And I don't feel like there's no comparison to me. No. There's no comparison. At all. Mm -mm. One's not compared to me. I don't care what y'all say. How y'all feel? Nothing like that. I don't care. What I, right? I, I've never had. I gave a fuck about what nobody felt. I mean, I kind of did back then. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Trying to make others happy. Nah. <laughs> I don't care what nobody feel. How they think about me. Whatever. Long as when you know yourself, nobody, nothing else fucking matters. Okay? They're just point blank period. When you know yourself, know yourself worth. You wouldn't give a shit what you do if somebody has something to say about it. You wouldn't give you wouldn't care. You would not care. Because you know you. 
And you supposed to do what you supposed to do in your life for you, not for nobody else. You understand what I'm saying? You be you and be your authentic self. Okay? That's what y'all do. I've been on here 30 minutes. I ain't even thinking I was going to be on here that long. I'm just talking. I just feel like talking. You know, and I want to neglect, you know, my YouTube. <laughs> you know, because I know it's going to pop. Everything in my life is going to pop. About to pop. More than what I probably even know right now. You know, it's like I know, but I don't even think I really know. <laughs> you know, so. I'm happy. I'm grateful. I'm so blessed. You are blessed. You are loved. Don't ever forget that. And you're never alone. You need somebody to talk to, just talk. Just talk. Literally, if you feel at that moment, oh, I need somebody to talk to. In that very moment, start just start talking. You don't need nobody to talk to. Just start talking. You is your own best friend. You your own best friend. I would hope you're not going to guide yourself wrong. And you know what? We all do it. We all do it. We all did it. The way you got to love yourself. And once you love yourself, how I had to find to do that? I had to love myself. I didn't always love myself. But when you love yourself, I'm trying to tell you, you'll be yourself You'll be your own best person. I mean best friend. <laughs> you'll be your own best friend. That's how you, when you appreciate you, then that's how you will, how other folks will appreciate you and respect you. Okay? You got to love you. Love yourself first. Well, my husband, yes, nigga, love yourself first. You got to love you first. You have to love you first. Don't love me first. Love yourself first. Don't love me more than you love you. And I know that, that emotion that feeling be there. And that's good. Thank you. Or whatnot. I understand your love. Not about you saying that, but love you first. Don't ever forget you. Don't ever stop loving yourself for another person. Or for anything else. I always love you. I always put you first. Okay. Now when you're in a happy and a great relationship. Of course like. It won't even seem like you putting yourself first in certain situations. Because that's not what I'm talking about. Look. That, that, that's just a whole other conversation. Like we're going to talk. We're going to talk. We got this. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> we got this. But. Yeah. Let me get off here y'all. Because I'm still tired. Um, this actually uplifted my vibes a little bit by me getting on here talking. You know me releasing. That's what it's called. <laughs> and, you know, and I always want to be a wise counsel to other people. You know, because what I'm saying could be very much beneficial. It is beneficial to other people that I know. <laughs> but, um, I love y'all. And now... Whenever you may see this video, just know I am one beautiful being. You will be seeing my face plastered everywhere soon. My face gonna be everywhere. My face gonna be on your TV screen. It's gonna be on your phone. My face gonna be goddamn. You walk in your stores, you gonna see my face. My name gonna be everywhere. Cause I'm about to be that big. I'm about to be that big. <laughs> and there ain't no comparison of anybody out there in this world that has gotten a big name for themselves. No, ain't no motherfucker being saying this. She don't compare to me either. <laughs> and the money don't make you whatever. And you understand what I'm saying? There's no comparison. There's absolutely no comparison at all. Why you keep walking in my room? What is it? And that's it. Children. Anyway. But yeah, there's no comparison to me. But y'all gonna see my face everywhere. Y'all gonna see my name every fucking where. Everywhere. I'm gonna be bigger than your biggest person that you follow behind, baby. Do you understand me? Because I'm that bitch. I'm that girl. Get what? God gonna bless me, baby. 
I'm about to blow up. Yeah, because I'm about to blow up. I can see you. Boop, yeah. Because mama, mama period. said don't hide in here. Period. 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 All right, y'all. I'm going to go cook. I'm going to go eat. So I can take my ass to sleep. Okay. I love y'all. God bless y'all. God loves you. Um, do right for you. Do right for others. Take care of your families. Take care of yourself. Love everyone. Show unconditional love. Whichever way it is. You stand up for yourself. Show unconditional love. You know what I'm saying? You forgiving. Having forgiveness in your heart. You don't have to accept everything. But just do everything with love. Okay? Y'all do that always. Because God is unconditional love. So that's what we shall be as well. Okay? He loves us for our dirty draw. For our dirty and dusty feet. And folks take that bath, okay? So we should love the same, okay? Love y'all. Peace out. God bless.